I love IPNC. It, it's my favorite weekend of the year every year, and precisely because like the international element of it is what makes it so so unique. There are a lot of other great wine events all around the country, and you don't get this broad spectrum of passionate, crazy, uh, insane Pinot Noir producers from all, all corners of the globe. I'm Hannes Reinisch. We are coming from Austria. Jackie from Malverman, Malsas, Northeast of France. I'm Mark Velasic, St. Innocent Winery, Salem, Oregon. Diana Gonzalez, I'm the winemaker for Lindmar Estate Winery in Sebastopol, California. I'm from Burgundy, domaine Jean Jacques Confuron. Thank I'm you. Sam Weaver from New Zealand. Hey guys, I'm Willie Lund from Yarring Station, Yarra Valley, Australia. Thank you, guys. The salmon is the quintessential Northwest celebration food because the Native Americans developed this style of cooking to celebrate their season and their salmon season, which sustained them. And so when the Native Americans 200 years ago would get together to celebrate life, it was doing what we're doing here. I can't think of a better place in the world where you can come and try the wines that you can get here, but also have 50 plus of the Northwest best chefs prepare food for you at the same time. We have a group of volunteers that are upwards of about 300 for the kitchen at various times during the weekend and another 100 to 150 for the other events during the weekend. Um, we have now 60 to 70 wineries that participate annually and about 500 full weekend guests who participate in the, the three-day event. Food is such an important part of the event and, and that has really been a, an evolution in the event since the first event in 87 and it's really a food and wine event where Pinot Noir is the focal point. Uh, eating well is not a problem here. <laughs> we usually invite somewhere between 50 and 55 chefs each year to participate throughout the whole weekend and uh, the focus is on regional chefs, so a lot from Portland, but from Eugene and the local Pacific Northwest. It's very much local. I, I literally have a farmer who's 10 minutes away, south from here, and he delivers, and he brings the most gorgeous produce. It's amazing. It also happens to be in an extraordinarily gorgeous part of Oregon. Beautiful, balmy weather. People, a lot of the events are outside. There's a lot of, a lot of pleasure in kind of standing around, tasting and sampling, you know, when you're outside in the environment that created a lot of the wines that are here. Pinot can detect where it's been grown, how it's been made, and ultimately how it's been treated before it's put in the bottle. And that transparency, Pinot as lie detector, if you will, is what transmits the authenticity and ultimately is what wherein lies the appeal of Pinot Noir to so many people. Nine buses go to nine different wineries and there's always an exercise at the winery and this exercise at the winery this year is going to be blending. We take three uh, barrel components that taste quite different from each other. They're all Pinot Noir and um, everybody gets a chance to make their own blend. It's going to be really fun. The afternoon blending at Archery Summit was amazing. I expected a lot, which I guess is unfair, but it's surpassed all my expectations. It's been fabulous. Today, the, the food and wine pairing seminar to me was full of value. Um, knowledge and meeting people and, and just uh, all about the food. For me, for a foodie's point of view, it was heaven. The concept of this seminar was to look at um, Pinot Noir and its role with food and rather than letting four chefs kind of run amok and do what they wanted to do was sort of have a, a control ingredient, in this case lamb, uh, but then sort of take a different twist on it. A lamb itself, while a wonderful animal, has different cuts and different flavors within that. So each of the chefs was given a different cut to go with their different wine and asked to create a dish around that. I love having you know, first the wines alone and then the different preparations of lamb. Not that I often eat lamb at 10 in the morning, but I'll yeah. make exceptions. If you have any interest in Pinot Noir at all, you've got to attend this event. You will be educated about it, you'll learn about it, you'll meet winemakers that will stimulate your interest, you'll meet consumers who have passion for Pinot Noir, and when you leave here and you get on the plane and go back to wherever you came from, you're going to 
say, man, I can't wait to get back there the next year. This, that was the greatest time I ever had. Well, you know, I, I go to a lot of Pino events every year. This is my favorite one uh, by far, just because the generosity of everyone that's here, um, they're bringing their best stuff, and we know it, and that's why everyone comes to it. But the greatest thing is not only do you have media people like myself, great sommeliers, great winemakers, but you also have consumers here. So we're all learning together, and there's a lot to learn about Pinot Noir. Well, next year is our 25th anniversary, celebrating a quarter century of, of the IPNC and we are endeavoring to reunite the original winemakers who participated in 1987. And it's, it's quite a group. Um, it's some, some awfully big names from Burgundy and California and the pioneering families of Oregon at that time. It'd be really, really exciting. The thing that makes IPNC so memorable is you have amazing food um, from some of the best chefs in the Portland area. Um, great wines, among the best Pinot Noir in the world. And as I learned today, people who love Pinot Noir are smarter, more interesting and better looking than people who drink other kinds of wine. Top hot cocktail nuts mix.